right so what I used is a bottle and a piece of cotton fabric from my previous projects I just cut it and then I twisted it and tied it where I wanted the bottle to be cut I'm using a dollar store acetone and a medicine dropper to administer the acetone directly onto the piece of fabric that I have on there which is 100% cotton by the way in the background I have a picture of ice cold water because the temperature difference between where the fabric was burning and the ice cold water will cause the glass to um, crack and cut right at that spot where I have the fabric tied. Now you're going to slowly just administer the acetone right onto the fabric. I did it over a bowl just to be safe. And once you're done with that and it's completely saturated, you're going to light it and keep your hands far away while you twist the bottle as follows. Now I did this in my garage so make sure wherever you're doing it it's somewhere safe and that there's no wind blowing because it'll change the direction of where the flames are burning. Okay once you light it don't be alarmed just keep your hands at the end the top and the bottom of the bottle and you're going to twist it slowly just to make sure that the heat is evenly distributed. And once it is very close to um, burning out, you're going to dip it in the ice cold water and then you'll hear a crack. Okay, now that it's almost out, you're going to dip it into the ice cold water. And then uh, once it cracks and you're finished, the most time consuming part is going to be sanding it. I just grabbed a block sand paper and I sand it until it was smooth. 